Oh, God. He looks at you and says, there were no abductions. No one was forced to go anywhere they didn't uh, want to go. So Abigail could have not gone with you? She did if not she resist. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Uh, well, then, yeah, so that we can be out of your hair. Can we get that pay that you had promised us since you hired us? This was evening a debt. Ah, uh, right. The debt you left by <clears throat> murdering yes. Longborn is now erased. And Oris looks back and says, You were the one that murdered Longborn? Brightblade. Late Brightblade? Sorry, yes. Uh, all right, well, okay. If that's how it's going to be, then uh, we're, we're even now, right, Dalimar? He nods. Okay, let us go then, friends. We have other adventures ahead of us. I'm fine where I am right now. All right, we'll leave you here, Abigail. See you later. <laughs> and I'm going to walk down the stairs. Dalimar, what do you want with Uncle Oris, or how do you know him? He kind of looks at you and says, it's not really any of your concern. True, but I don't think that uh, it would do you any harm to just tell us, since we went through all the trouble of getting him. Why should I tell you? It serves me no benefit. Well, we did this for you, and even though we, ha we kind of botched one of the jobs you gave us, I think we've done a pretty good job serving you so far. So I think if you give us a little in return, that would uh, be greatly appreciated. I'll let you know soon enough. I'm sure I will have need of your services with regard to our dear Uncle Oris in the mm. future. So you're saying you're going to contact us again? Indefinitely. Indefinitely? <laughs> he nods. <laughs> okay. I'm, co <laughs> I'm confused, but I just leave. Bregor, Bregor says, then I shan't expect it most sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I walk out of Dalamar's room. Okay. I give a fact on the back to Uncle Oris, and I say, I'm sorry, Uncle Oris. And I leave. Back at you just with sad eyes. And you guys head down. Uh, GP, you still Goodbye, down. Dalimar! <laughs> you're yeah. at the bottom of the stairs when they come down. So what's Dickhead McGee up, upstairs doing? What's he up to? Yeah? He's probably going to like drink his blood or some shit. Okay. We should probably get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think we should get out of here. <clears throat> um, are we done? Is the, is the slate wiped clean? No, he's going to contact us indefinitely. <laughs> so does that mean, like, maybe? What I mean, I, I guess we'll have to see. Do we accept it? Like, I, I don't think, I, I think we should just get the fuck away from him. <clears throat> Except he definitely get the fuck and... away from him. We can get away from him, but he can find us wherever we go. I don't think that's a problem for him. But one thing he did say to us is that well, he implied that it's our choice if we want to go with him. And if we don't want to, then we just tell him no. Hmm. Abigail. It kind of was what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and something about the ring. We want to have that <laughs> ring talk here? No, nah, we can leave. It's all good. I guess we're done here, right? I just kind of like, like let the awkward silence sit there because it seems like she's stringing words out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to decide how I need to handle this. Cause I... All right, let's get out of here. You guys can go. I guess no, I should no, message no. Neil. <laughs> Uh-oh, what oh, are you doing? Oh, God, what are you doing? If I what? see wave, If I see hands waving around, I grab his... Grab his... Um, I go no. And then he says, Nakedus now in us. Can I stop the waving hands? <laughs> <clears throat> uh. 
Okay. I didn't think so either. Anyways, after that weird, awkward silence of me just looking into the stars. <laughs> be like, all right, let's get the fuck out. Okay. Yeah, we walk out. Okay. Okay. So you guys all head out, uh, mm -hmm. walk away from the tower at a brisk pace, enjoying the sensation of leaving the that horrible place. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then what do you guys do? <clears throat> I'm going to hit so, up. Well, Ryan, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I think we only had a brief moment up there with Dalimar, but based on how he treated Oris, I don't really think that he means him any harm. Because <clears throat> he apologized to him about hiring us. And I don't think if he was going to kill Oris that he would have apologized to him. He would have just done it or treated him differently. So I don't think we really have to worry too much about him doing anything bad to him. He may be trying to gain his favor or something like that, but I don't think he's going to kill him. Well, he wasn't very accommodating trying to get him up in the tower. Are we just in the Ab courtyard when we're having this conversation? Yeah. Yeah, this is the conversation you're having while you're walking away from the tower, and there's a whole bunch of people. Yeah, I'm just going to slap both of them at the same time and say, shut the fuck up. I'm using my, <laughs> my six-inch voice. <laughs> oh, God. Your six-inch voice? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so none of us fucking hear what you're saying? You're just like... <laughs> 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 Just be thankful he's using a six inch voice, not something else. Yeah, I don't want the twelve inch voice. <laughs> that went right over your head, JP. I know. <laughs> I chose to ignore it and go a different route with the joke, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's why you'll never be a hooker. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's this got really weird. Let's fucking go to the bar, guys. <laughs> you say that with which voice? <laughs> The full-on enchilada voice. All right, let's go to the fucking bar. All right, All right, you guys go over to your favorite bar. Which one is this again? <laughs> <laughs> they all have so many names, Neil, I forget. Is this the Golden Goblin? No, you guys have found a new favorite bar here. Last time you were around, you checked out a new place. It was pretty good. Okay. Hmm. Good. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So we go it's in. It's called the Feral Tiger. The feral tiger. There we go. And he started. Every time I glance at the the name, I think about my dead ferret. <laughs> the green pudding was the other bar, according to the chat. Yeah. There were a lot of bar names. There were. That's why I don't remember them all. All right, so go inside. Um, I kind of what what time of day is it, by the way, Neil? Uh, afternoon by now. Now it's you know three or four ish. So I'll get a beer and kind of address the party and be like, well, I do want to go drop this armor off at uh, Vincent's guy. Just give it to him. Be nice. Yeah, I'm going to give him the sword, too. Actually, yeah. that's a good idea. I don't, uh, I don't want payment for it or anything. I'm just going to give it to him. Say, you do with, do with this what you want. Um, but you give the armor to who? What armor to who? To, uh, well, I'm going to give the armor to Vincent's uh, armor that he like contracted or whatever mm -hmm. had the deal with. So I'm just telling mm -hmm. the party that. Um, other than that, do we have any other things to do in town? Does anyone need anything? Mm, you might not want to go back there, but don't you want to find out how to levitate with those boots? You know, as far we as I can remember, I don't think he was going to do that for me. Hmm. I think you asked him and he threatened your life. Yeah. I think uh, I think the chat has led you astray once again, Mr. Burger. Did you ask Garden Cole Oris? No, I didn't ask him. Mm. I think I'm just boned. What what letter am I on now, Neil? Uh, I was P. on G last time, so I'm halfway through. Okay, I'm on P. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's that's. I'm going to have a beer or two and then kind of make my way to uh, Jeff's armor guy. That's my plan for the night. All right, rest of you guys. Um, I mean, you came in this special. bar to chat, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna ask the barkeeper if they have uh, any ferrets around here. <laughs> so even says we don't serve ferret meat. No, 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 <laughs> alive ones. I'm looking no? for a ferret pet. 
Or a badger or something similar. Small creature, furry, adorable. Or you not, depending on check, your type. Taste. You might want to check down in Palanthas, their larger city. They have weird critters for sale. Noted. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bregger? Can I go grab a beer? Bregger, what are you doing tonight? Mm, I just grab a drink. I'm not doing anything special. Okay. Well, I'm two beers in. I'm back to normal. Vincent, you want to go pay uh, pay a visit to your friend? Sure. All right. So uh, I guess we have to go back to the caravan and pick up the equipment, and then just take it take that to the uh, the armor. So that's what yeah. we do. I, you guys don't have to come with me and Vincent. We we can go by ourselves. Doesn't bother me. We're literally okay. just going to drop this off. At least I am. Yep. Yep, same here. <clears throat> All right, so that's what we do, Neil. Okay. Head over to the armor and walk in and say, first off, Vincent, what's this guy's name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you there, sir. Hello, remember us? <laughs> Excellent no, armor. I'm uh we uh we brought you gifts maybe something you can sell uh just something that we found out uh while adventuring and i show him the armor and kind of point to the uh the weapon whose like, armor was this again is that out of game or are you asking us out of game as a dm this okay. was the armor of the assassin that was in the middle of the road that met us okay yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the last fight of right, last right, right, session. Right, right. Okay. yeah i think it was three fourth plate or something like that three quarter plate yeah, yeah. so we hand so that you, to him and just say here's the armor yep be like do what do with it what you want you've been a, a big help to us in the past so we're just trying to help back he nods and says well, well thank you that's most generous of you i won't ask where it came from <clears throat> probably better that you don't um have you heard any any interesting news uh, around town or around the uh, the region well, people are concerned about relations between Hillsburg and Palantas, but, you know, those have been heightened for a while now. Hmm. Rumor is that Palantas hired the goblins to attack the towns up north. Hmm. How much truth uh, to that rumor do you believe there is? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm just a simple armorer. Um, I don't know why Palantas would be working with goblins. On the other hand, kind of big goblin raids out of the middle of nowhere. I don't know how much of what I've heard is true and how much is speculation, though. You know, a man of your, your talents, I would assume that you deal with many people on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, no, not so many. You know, most of my days are spent working. Hmm. A few large purchases every now and then. Well, if you could, uh, you know, keep your ear to the ground and... and See if you hear anything interesting. That would do a, a big favor for us as we're in town for at least a day or two. He nods and says, all right. Uh, look at Vincent. Are we all done here? Yep, sounds good. Thanks, friend. Gregor, Abigail, you guys need anything? No, it's all good. I'm good. All right. Um, I don't have anything else to do in town. So coming off of a big adventure like this, I'm going to go get fucked up. <laughs> well, <there's... laughs> I just start uh, heading towards the bar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess we can discuss what we want to do tomorrow morning. Let's party! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, yeah, just head to the tavern and drink apple juice and sharpen my mm. my daggers. I have four of them now. Right. I'm all of them. Bregor? Just drink. Drink. Okay, so you guys go get fucked up. So when we Not go to the though. bar, I walk in. I, I walk in and walk up to the bartender, and I would assume it's about nighttime, right? Yeah, Getting I mean, dark. it's not quite there. I, I mean, yeah, I guess it's it's almost midwinter now, so yeah, it's getting late. All right, so I want to ask the bartender, uh, how much would it cost for a couple rounds for everyone in the uh, in the bar right now? Looks around, and says eh, a couple gold. Couple gold meaning two gold. All like right, a, a couple of gold. So I, I okay, <laughs> I, I tip him. I didn't know we were so 
uh, exact here in the world. <laughs> Tip them two gold and be like, all right, so be it. And I turn around and be like, drinks are on me. You guys have a good night. And uh, I'll be here drinking with you. So and you buy two gold worth of beer. Okay, for everyone. Everyone in the bar, yeah. Okay. Uh, you find people have never been so nice to you in your whole life. <laughs> um, you have people coming up actually trying to talk to you. Nice. It's an experience that you've never thought you'd have. Any half-ogre females? No. Okay. No half-ogres whatsoever. Okay. It's a very rare crossbreed. Understood. Understood. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do with my knight. Neil, how much gold do I have? It's like 3,300 or something like that. Um, 3,681 and 5 copper and 5 silver. All right, thank you. Yeah, I just drink apple juice for a while, kind of hanging out, and then uh, at the appropriate time, I go get, go to sleep. Okay. Gregor? Uh, yeah, I do the same. I'm just drinking. I'm not going to get completely drunk. I'll get like a six. The entire six. night, I'm literally shoving drinks at Vincent and Gregor and Abigail all to get really, really no, drunk. No, no, no. I'm not drinking. I, I to, keep handing them multiple drinks throughout the night. And I hand them to other people. People who look really rich. <laughs> so the only person to not drink anything at all was Jin. Is that right? Well, I didn't drink anything. I'm drinking you're apple drinking juice. apple juice, right? But you're at least drinking yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, and I'm giving all my drinks to people who look rich. <clears throat> so because Abigail refused my drinks and I'm incredibly drunk, I get frustrated with her. And I say, command drink, and put a drink in front of her face. Do I have to do it? Um. Can I, what if I grab, like, Vincent's... Do you have any other fluid on you or next to you? You're what if I grab to... Vincent's apple juice that's right if next to... If it's within gra reach of you, then yes, you can grab that and drink it instead. Well, if it is within reach of me, I'm going to do that. How do you judge something like that? <laughs> I don't know what the setup was, man. <laughs> so I'll, I'll figure out you guys were all sitting around the same area, hanging out with each other. Uh, she's going to make a grab for your apple juice. Vincent, do you have any I Would you let her take it? It takes me so at, uh, at shock that she probably plucks it right out of my hand. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. And I drink the apple juice and I do. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> In my still drunken state... I once again, hold on, do I have, fuck, I can only do it once, I think. Because <laughs> I casted, fuck, I can't do it. Nope, you already used it once more. Fuck. fuck. <laughs> yep. So I just start poking Tudagum. <laughs> uh, I'll deal with you tomorrow and go back to drink. <laughs> okay, so about 45 minutes after this transpires, um, everyone's still hanging out, having a fairly good time. Night is young still. When one of the guys in the bar, not in the party, uh, shouts, what the fuck? And turns around holding Abigail's wrist, like with his bag, like her holding onto his bag. He's like, who the <laughs> fuck is stealing my shit? Ah, you've met my friend Abigail. <laughs> she does this from time to time, sir. What, uh, what's in that little bag of yours? Uh, gold. Ah. Little bitch is ah, stealing it's... my money. I was looking for my pet ferret. I think it disappeared. I, I don't think sure. that's the ferret you're looking for, Abigail. Yeah, you can't be looking for ferrets in guys' pants like that. That's... I don't think that's right. <laughs> but, uh, sir, you know, we've warned her about this, so... What do you recommend, sir? Do you want to yeah. duel her? Do you think, uh... What are you thinking? What do you got? I think we should just go lock her up. I, I'm inclined to agree. Where do you want to lock her up? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, he's kind of he's a little bit tipsy here, and he says, "Well, we could just call the constables over, and they would put her in jail for the night, and then we could probably cut her hand off in the morning for stealing." Friend, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm actually I work with the with the, the city. I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna lock her up for the night, and I'm going to pay you. One gold for your trouble. He looks and I'm going to pay you one gold as well. 
No. And if you what? see my pet ferret. No, oh, I saw you two hanging out at the same table. You guys are buddy buddy. Yeah, right? but she's no. a scoundrel. Now I'm gonna go get a guard. This little girl's come with me, and we're just gonna toss her in the dungeon. I put my hand on his wrist <laughs> as he's like <laughs> trying to walk away. And I pull him in close and I say, I would like to pay you for your troubles. I suggest you take it. He gets the hit and he's like, are you, are you threatening me? I threaten everyone with a look. <laughs> you threatening me, dude? I want to give you... you gold. If you're too dumb to take it, I might have to remove you from the gene pool. Did you hear about the slappy slappy thing he does? <laughs> Pretty uh, impressive. He tosses Abigail's hand in your face. It says, figures, servants of Delamar. That's right, motherfucker. <laughs> I still give him a gold. Just one. Okay. For your trouble. Okay. What do you mean he threw her hand in my face? Like, like he was holding onto her, her wrist. Mm. And so when you were talking, he just kind of like tossed the wrist in your general direction. Not that it actually hit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, what race was this guy? Just out of curiosity, human. he's black. He's human. <laughs> <laughs> that changed things, JP. Oh, god, there's so many bad jokes you can make right here. Let's just continue <clears throat> on. <laughs> Let's just continue on. <laughs> Continuing on. So Abigail uh, gives him the gold and he the sits down or evening. something. Um, yeah, he goes back to his table with his guys and. They kind of glare at you over the course of the rest of the evening, but, you know. I actually just kind of stare at them for the rest of the night. Stare at who? No, I'm just kidding. That'd be way too mean. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I'm did just going to, like, as it gets later, I'm going to go up did, and go to sleep. Did Jeff give him a gold, too, or just me? Nope. No? All right. I was going to reimburse. No, I'll give you a gold for your trouble. <laughs> I accept. So I assume, uh, well, I guess I'm probably going to drink the most into the night, huh? Since I am. Yeah. Okay. Safe assumption. <laughs> so I'll just keep drinking until the night, I guess. See if anything else happens. No, nothing else happens that night. All right. Um, I'll message you new spells. Other than that, I, there's nothing I need to do in the morning. Okay. Uh, what do the rest of you guys want to do in the morning? In the morning? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just, like, I'm cleaning my armor and oiling everything and washing my clothes and sharpening my daggers and stuff. Mm-hmm. We just haven't had a couple of days to rest in a while, I guess. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So you guys just kick it for a couple of days? Uh, At least a day, I guess. I guess so. okay. Eventually I get the group together and suggest we uh, go check out Esteban. Do you guys not want to go by Dalamar's place to ask if there's something else he's going to no. pop out of? You already have a weird obsession with Dalamar. You know, let's just talk about this now. What's up with the ring? Wait, where are we right now? Yeah, uh, right now it's... <laughs> We're Morning standing on a three. weather balloon 10,000 <laughs> miles up in the sky. <laughs> I already said it, so I don't care where we're at. I just say, what's up with day, the ring? Yeah, it's morning, day three in Valesburg. No, 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 but, like, are we in a crowded place? Are we alone? No, you guys are having breakfast at the bottom of the inn. There's, like, a couple people about, but no one within earshot, if you guys whisper. Uh, okay. What's up well, with the ring? Let's whisper about it, then. I don't know how to whisper, yes. woman. <laughs> Fine, let's leave the place and talk about it when we're alone. <laughs> Good job. Let's enjoy your breakfast then. I will ask a third time what is up with the ring. We can discuss the ring when there's not people all around us. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone already knows about it now. It doesn't matter. It's a fucking ring. You guys are making a scene. Everyone's staring at you. <laughs> yeah, this is your fault. I just asked a simple question. It was a scary movie. Did you just ask about a movie? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's my first movie reference. I'm practicing. <laughs> what? Ah, let's, let's go talk about it like in the forest or something. Forest? I don't want to go out of town. 
Oh, let's go to a room. All right, so we go up to the room. I guess we bring breakfast. The rest of the party yeah, crowds in, inside of my small little <laughs> fucking room. That's awesome. And I ask, Everyone crowds in, into Tedagub's room. Everyone brings their breakfast plates up with them. Well, this That's is fucking awesome. how I wanted breakfast to be. What's up with the ring? Fourth time. Eh, I actually don't know. <laughs> Dalvar told me that the ring was like somebody's ring that they might want it back. It's a ring I found on like some dude's body. Um, and apparently it's Esteban's now or something. Vincent, didn't you say that... Um... Feel free to zone the truth me. I don't care if it's the truth. I don't know more than that. Vincent, didn't you say that Esteban sent people after us? Yeah. Because uh, <clears throat> they, did the woman give you a reason? Because we're working with uh, Dalmar. Hmm. I wonder if he just wanted the ring. You looted it off a body of somebody we killed? Hail Giant. Hmm. Wait a minute. So I sit there and I have a, like a exclamation point pops up over my head. You guys see this? And <laughs> I say, so wait, there's two rings? Yeah. I like to collect things. There's also a couple... You rings. need to stop fucking not telling us shit. Well, why would... Like, I've been collecting shit since the start. I, like, collect stupid rings. I collect things. I don't even know what they do. And then... And then Dalamar tells me this ring might do something, but you guys didn't even ask me how my weekend was when I was at Dalamar's place. I should and just so alone. you know, it was great. How great? <laughs> like how Real, many great? Really good apple juice. Mm -hmm. When I clapped, the lights <clears throat> went off and on. So, can this ring fit on your finger? Uh, Probably, but so, I didn't try any of them because Dalamar told me not to try the rings. Right. You told me to try but, one of them, <clears throat> not this one. I'm just saying the hill giant probably wasn't, it wasn't the hill giant. Like he wasn't wearing it because it would be too big for you. I so didn't try it. He just had it. Meaning somebody probably gave it to him. Yeah, it's probably Esteban's. It was on his finger when I picked it up. Right. Wait a minute. And it's resized for me, apparently. Oh, it's re okay. <laughs> it automatically resized for you? Apparently so. Give me the ring. No! Nah, it's mine. <laughs> Don't give him the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's like gonna break it or some shit. It's not no, happening. but he's gonna do something with it that we don't want him to do. <laughs> Leave me alone with my ring. Um, mm. I should have asked Oris now that I think about it. Damn it. Vincent. Um, yes. Let, let's 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 kind of just talk about this for a second, Vincent. I, 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 I'm following you guys. <laughs> so, last night, we almost kind of ran into an issue. I think was she stealing? My, I'm kind of hazy. What happened again? She stole something. She's trying to steal. Yeah, something. she's trying to steal uh, gold from a drunk guy. Stealing gold from people. It's no biggie. All right. She lied to us about this ring. I didn't lie. You didn't even ask. She kept this information from us. We were bothered with, like, Aura's stuff. I wasn't thinking about the ring. I actually forgot about it. <laughs> we need... This This can't happen anymore, Vincent. We gotta... I mean, mm -hmm. ha what are your thoughts on this? Well, I do agree. As If we're going to work as a team, we have to be trusting each other. So we have to tell each other stuff. And I mean, she's a thief. She's going to steal. So I'm not too worried about that as long as it doesn't get us in too much trouble. She... She paid the man, so I feel like I feel like she's forgiven of that one. It'd be weird to hold it against her, but uh, getting really important items and then not talking about it would be a problem. But yeah, well, about the ring, I didn't know what it did. I still don't know what it does. I just well, let's I've figure been... it out. Give me the ring. No, you're gonna break it. You break everything. We should. How ask, can I like... break a ring? I just want to put it on my know. finger. It, your fingers are fat. We it adjusts like... to whatever you put it on. You already told me this. We should just ask, like, some random wizard in the town or something. We could just put it on. We could ask a wizard in the town or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not... what, if we, what if we get Vincent's 
Vincent to try it. Let's see if it does something. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not putting on a magical ring. Thank you, though. But I, I just, I'm more worried about uh, moving forward as opposed to this ring itself. You're wearing it, so obviously it doesn't do anything too terrible. I don't know uh, what it does. Yeah, it's fine. We'll figure it out along our way. I'm just saying, as we move forward, when we get things, we need to talk about it. Otherwise, finding out this way can cause problems. Mm. <clears throat> Gregor? I also have this other hmm. ring that you guys don't ask me about. That we're talking about rings. We know three rings. Balance. Hold on, Gregor. You, you know, no, there's two rings. You remember the other ring that Dalmar told me not to put on? Just, uh, just. We know about that one. Yeah, yeah, we we knew about that one. I don't know. Just making sure you guys know about all the rings, so I don't get any more surprises. <laughs> Look, Miss Lord of the Ring, you need to calm down <laughs> here. <laughs> Gregor, Tadiga, why don't you check and see if it's at least magical? Sure, get, let me put on my finger. Mm. Why or don't you, you can just detect, why don't you... detect if it's magical. Yeah, Tomorrow I probably could, hand. but... Just touch my hand and detect magic. Wait, you're wearing it right now? Sure. Then I put it on. Does anything if I happen? Wearing it. Neil, does anything happen? Nothing obvious. I seem fine. Touch I look down at her magic. feet and is, is she levitating? Is anything going on? <laughs> Uh, no, she's not levitating. Do you feel lighter, Abigail? No. Nope. Do you feel stronger? No, nope, not that I notice. Do I feel like I have plus two of any skill, Neil? No. <laughs> <laughs> My quiet. Oh, that was that was Abigail. I do Parker. a perception check on Abigail. He squints. What do I notice? <laughs> what do your elf eyes see? <laughs> You see an elf with red eyes, which is really fucking weird. So her eyes are not normally red. No, they're normally red. We've <laughs> all just been ignoring the fact that Abigail has red eyes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. She's usually too comely to notice that kind of a thing. <laughs> hmm. You mean homely? Yeah, I meant homely. Okay. Well, all right. You put on the ring. Let me try it on. No. You just detect magic. You guys don't know what that spell is. So, well, I, I thought you could detect magic. You told me that. You used it on my helm. That's how I know my helm is magical. <laughs> well, that is a pretty magical helm, but uh, we'll get to that later. Look, it'll have to wait a day before uh, before I can do this. So, if anything, why don't we just get the fuck out of here and yeah, let's get a more. plan of action. Are we going to Esteban? Are we going to check out the dragon? Maybe we should kill the dragon. I don't know if we're ready for a dragon. We could try to find oh, some I'm more sure information from him, or about him, or if he uh, even exists, down in Evanfar. Or somewhere you guys aren't about the Esteban thing, the guy that sent assassins after us. I mean, I'm I down to do that. We get we get to pass through my my friends in Willowbrook. So if you guys oh, want to go, we can. No. <laughs> what about the other ring? Maybe I should put on the second ring. Oh, you said it's other ring. I think you said the baby. other ring. <laughs> oops, oops. It's like a, a name of a movie, the uttering. The uttering, yeah. I thought you said the utter ring, like a ring for utters or something, and then it got real weird. Anyways, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a vote here. Bregger, what do you want to do? Well, I'm pretty interested in, in following up on Esteban, but I think he's got a whole town with him, so we'd have to be pretty... That pretty hasn't been a problem in the past. Yeah, no. <laughs> Easy peasy. We destroy shit. So, yeah. regular like your vote is for Esteban? Mm hmm. Jeff, or Esteban. sorry, Vincent, what's your vote? Yeah, I, I say Esteban. Well, I've... Abigail, what you, destroy what's your all the things. Wah ha ha ha. Your vote is to destroy everything? <laughs> yeah. My vote is to go back to Willowbrook, so I guess we're going to Esteban. <laughs> Um, do you guys need to do anything in town, or uh, I mean, it's pretty early. We could set out today. Uh, we could go to the other town where they have ferrets and bad relationships with other towns and goblins and things. I remind, I, I tell Abigail and that's ferrets. complete opposite. Well, not opposite, but it's in a complete other direction. Mm -hmm. All right. What about the dragon? I don't. I don't want to go fight a dragon. I think we can take on the dragon. We can do. We can deal with the dragon when we get back. As long as you don't get fucking teleported back here. Look, if that happens again, you're on your own. 
I'm just put. I'm just laying it out here. And uh, let's let's head west. I wanna I wanna go west. So I'll uh, I'll meet you guys at the wagon here in a bit. If you have anything to do in town, do it. But I'm gonna head over there and get things in order. We should talk to Thor Fletcher, the mayor of Valesburg. Dalmar told us to talk to him. I'm already headed to the wagon. So I already left. He told us to talk to him. Is Valesburg on the way to Eastbarn? You're in Valesburg. Oh. Oh, we should go talk so to him. So then, yes, yes, it is. Turn around. <laughs> Come back. I'm getting the wagon so sorted out. This is out. the morning. So, in the morning, you have le now left your bedroom, <clears throat> set your plate down on a table, and hopped in the wagon. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I assume I'm getting it ready. I'm not just going to hop in and fucking take off. Right. I'm basically. To step outside of the game, giving the players a chance to do something other in the game that I'm not leading them to do. So go do something in the game. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go talk to Thor or Fletcher. Come, come what, back. Did, what did Dalimar tell you? He just told us to go talk to him. He didn't say why, he just said go talk to them? Yeah, I might give out the ring, that's sure. No, he told all of you guys. Yeah, he did. Okay, you guys I'm down remember? for that. Yeah, let's go visit him. Let's go. Okay, yep. so you guys head over to Thor Fletcher. Uh, JP, are you with them? Nope. I'm at the okay. caravan. Alright. Uh, and you guys head over to his his place of running the town. Uh, guards let you in. You guys go up to his office where he is. And he says, oh, uh, thank you guys for a uh, long time no see. I haven't seen you since you rescued my daughter. Yes, in fact, you didn't. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing quite well, I guess. Um, what what can I do you for? What can he do we for? <laughs> oh, me? wasn't Vincent with us? I thought Vincent was with us. I was like, why isn't he talking? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say, what can he do me for? Do we? <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a three-minute break here on Roleplay. Yeah. We'll be back right after this break. Abigail's not. She's got some work to do. <laughs> we'll see you guys in three minutes.